Let's take a look at complex numbers on HP Prime calculator. And uh, we'll take a look at our first one here, square root of uh, negative 49. Okay. Now, um, you want to be this screen right here. If you're somewhere else, like you're under apps or something, if you just press escape, you get back to here. Now, you want to make sure you're in the correct mode. Um, click home, and that'll take you here. Now, if you click cast, in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see it says cast. Again, we want to choose the home. Now, I want to go into settings. And you only have to do this one time. If I do shift and then my home button, it comes into this. And you see our complex number form down here is parentheses around it, A, comma, B. The A is your real part. The B is your imaginary part. I don't like that format. So I'm going to do the drop down here. And I want to choose the A plus B times I. And uh, then there's a little check mark right next to this. If you check that, it says allow complex output from real input. So if I have that checked, uh, it will allow us to solve this problem right here. So again, I want to choose this as A plus BI and have the check mark here. Once you get that, then you can press your home button to get out of that. Now, then we're just typing as we see it. So I'll do shift X squared to get square root. And I'll put in negative. So push my negative button, 49, and press enter. And that gives us 7i. Okay, let's look at our next one. So we've got 1 plus 5i plus 8 minus 2i. And we're pretty going to type in it as we see it on a lot of these problems. So I'll choose my parentheses here, and then I'll do 1 plus 5. Now get to the i, It's a, see the 2 here in blue is the i. So we do shift 2, and that'll put our eye on there. I do my right arrow key to get out of the parentheses, plus, and I'll push my parentheses again, 8 minus 2, and then shift 2 for the I, and then press enter. And that gives us 9 plus 3I as our answer. Okay, let's look at uh, subtraction. We got 3 plus 2i minus 4 minus 7i. And again, we pretty well type it as we see it. So I'll push my parentheses. I'll do 3 plus 2 and then shift 2 for the i. I'm going to right arrow key to get it out of the parentheses, and then minus, and I'll choose my parentheses, 4 minus 7, and then I'll do my shift 2 for the i, and then press enter. And that gives us negative 1 plus 9i. Negative 1 uh, plus 9i. Okay. Let's take a look at multiplication. So we got 11 minus i times 2 plus 3i. Nothing real exciting on this one. Again, we're going to type in as we see it. So I'll push my parentheses, and then 11 minus, and I want the i, so I do shift 2, right arrow to get out of parentheses, push my parentheses button again, and then I'll put in my 2 plus 3, shift 2 for the i. And then press enter. And that gives us 25 plus 3i. Okay. Our fifth one, we got 3 plus 2i over 5 minus i. These are kind of tricky. Uh, the best rule to follow is whenever you got a fraction, if you got more than a single number, single variable, or single i on top or bottom, you have to put parentheses around that part. So we'll put parentheses around the 3 plus 2i and parentheses around the 5 minus i. Sometimes, if you're careful, you can put these into your calculator without parentheses, but that's always a good practice. Okay, so I'm going to do a beginning parentheses, or both my parentheses button, uh, 3 plus 2i, so I'm going to do shift 2 for the i, right arrow, and I'll do my divide. 
Now look what it does. It automatically puts it in this form. Uh, I'm going to put parentheses just to follow my convention, but I don't really think you need them on that. And 5 minus uh, shift 2 for the I. And now we'll press enter. Now we get 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 times I. And if we push our fraction button, you see it changes to 1 half plus 1 half I. So this is equal to 1 half plus 1 half I. Typically, we don't want to leave things in decimal form, so we want to do that conversion you see right there. To go back and forth, if you press your fraction button again, see how it flips back and forth between uh, the different forms? Now, I push it twice there, and it looks like, well, it didn't change. It's changing it to mixed number form, but these don't have any mixed numbers. Okay. Let's take a look at I to the fourth. Okay, six is... I to the fourth. Well, if we get back to our calculator, I'm going to do I, so I do shift two, and I'll push this um, X to the Y button, and that'll put it up in exponent mode, and I'll put four in there. And to get it out of exponent mode, you don't have to before you press enter, but if I do, I press my right arrow key to get out of exponent mode, and press enter. So I to the fourth is equal to one. Okay, let's take a look at I to the 401st. Okay, so I'm going to do Shift 2 for the I. And then I'll do the X to the Y button, and then I'll put 401. And I'll press my right arrow key to get out of exponent mode. Not that you don't need to do that before you press Enter, but I'm just demonstrating how to get out of exponent mode. And then press Enter. And that gives us I. Now this video is just showing you how to work with uh, complex numbers um, on the HP Prime, specifically for what you run across in uh, uh, algebra course, college algebra.